Welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force with me, Jerupidus. And we are just outside the eastern gate of the Gate of the Ancients, and we're about to head inside because we are chasing down Dark Soul, looking to finally confront him after having defeated King Romladu. So let's go. And there it is. The Castle of the Ancients. Now I believe it should be open in here. Unless I'm crazy. Yep. And it's time to head over there, so let's go. And Nova says, at last, Cherupidus, the Castle of the Ancients. The end is near for good or ill. For good or ill indeed. None shall pass Colossus, the Eternal Sentinel. Leave now. And Nova says, Colossus, I've heard of it in Legends. Jerupidus, they are attacking. And so, oh, this fight. <laughs> this fight is rough. Okay, so we've got blue dragons over here. We've got chimeras over here. Trio of jets in the center. Armed skeletons. Another trio of chimeras. And let's take a look at Colossus. He's got 50 attack, 40 defense. There are three of him. He can cast both three. That one can cast freeze three. And this one can cast blaze three. Um, they are very, very difficult. Now, something that can happen is if you kill the center one, I do believe that ends the fight. Um, but we're not interested in doing that because... There are some things to do in here, namely killing all the monsters, but there is another thing that I am very interested in as well. So what we're going to do is form up so that we can't get pincered. But you do not want to rush this fight, believe me. Okay, that's going to entice him over. Yeah, and you don't have a ton of time before those side ones start coming after you. So you really want to start doing the work getting your squishy characters out of the way as soon as you possibly can. And we're going to want to use our spellcasting items on these guys. I hope that I will still have, you know, some of them for the next three, but these are such a nightmare to hit physically that you're really wasting your time even trying. And we'll have Kokichi ready to go give support, but... It all very much depends. Let's get uh, Henri out of the way. Because we want to get some tanks to the front and hope that they line up so we can drop some spells on them. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll give it a shot. The problem is, is if one of those things even touches Lyle, he's instantly dead, but I'm gonna go for it. Now, 
and I hope that they don't just bypass Musashi and come after Lyle, but we'll see. Fifteen on Gunts. That's pretty gosh darn good. Yeah, Hanzo can't do anything useful from this position, so... I'm just gonna have him wait. Okay, that is, that's just great. I am very, very happy with that. That was nerve-wracking. I was really not wanting to lose Lyle to, like, the first monster. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he scared me. <laughs> <laughs> now, unfortunately, that spaces them out for magical attacks. Yeah, we'll just wait. I could send Henri up here, and I kind of think I'm gonna... We just need all the help we can get with these. These are such a high priority. Yep. Oh dear. Go again. Yes. Well, he would have dropped it if both of those had hit, but getting the attack to happen is huge. Okay, these these chimeras over here are certainly cooperating, and I am really appreciating that. Yeah, Gork can't hit over there, so let's put him out in front. Perfect. Exactly 16. I certainly appreciate that. Yeah, let's just try and hit the uh, two of them. If I can drop two of these, that would be good. Crits for nine. That's not great for me. But it's better than missing. Which I strongly feel I almost certainly would have. Yep, we'll just keep pounding him with magic. Alright, I'm glad I haven't damaged anything yet. I've just got to do this, even though I don't want to. Oh, he doesn't have a halberd. Okay. Well, then... We'll just put him over here. He's gonna miss. Yep. Ooh, double attack. Now we're talking. Not the best level up there, but that's okay. That's kind of a discovered attack on Tau, but... They've shown a reluctance to move past these frontliners. Now, who can I hit? That one's at 41. This one is out of the way of the spell, so I think I'm going to try and drop this one. He won't hit for 19, if at all. But I think that's the correct one to attack.
Oh, my kingdom for just being a bit closer. We're still doing it. Yep, just hit him. And this is crazy how much resources I'm losing just dealing with three chimeras. And I have three more. And one has broken off and is coming at me. <laughs> Which is scary. All right. I mean, if you think about it, bosses from earlier in the game. Okay, so Gort's Atlas is down. I'm gonna try to keep this straight in my head this time. Bosses earlier in the game had less than 50 hit points. All right, will Musashi live? Not through a breath attack, I don't think. Yeah, okay. I mean, I expect to lose someone here. It's There's not very much you can do about it. These things are just so strong, and physical attacks just don't work against them. Oh, and I just can't quite reach. Well, Hanzo can't really do anything useful. So I think I'll just have him block me off a square. lose another unit. That would be good. Yeah, Henry can stay hiding over here. I'm afraid that that Chimera is going to be able to reach her, but I don't really know what I can do about it. Such a nightmare. <laughs> it really uh, makes you appreciate actually hitting when you attack. When you're like, huh, uh, I can't hit monsters anymore with anything ever. Yeah, I've got to just do it. I want to have time to use the white ring, but these things are... They just tend to hang around so long because you can't hit them. Seven defense is nice. I appreciate that. I doubt this is gonna hit. Yes! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Hanzo. I have to feel like if you're a ninja, people don't say thank you to you enough. 
So I'm looking to rectify that. I'm so worried about this Chimera that's come down. I don't know what he's going to do, but I don't like any of the various possibilities that could come from this. Okay, that is totally fine. Yep, let's halberd him. It's the only way. Lightning bolts shooting out of a spear axe. Yep, I'll keep trying. Oh, a hit? I can't believe it. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with the design of the Chimeras, but when you keep missing a monster, you start to feel like, can a lion have a punchable face? <laughs> like, I just hate looking at him. He just makes me mad. It's like this mocking expression he has on his face. And, like, the dragon head has its tongue stuck out at you. <laughs> the, uh, the goat head is looking up its, looking down its nose at you. But Lyle just hit right there, like, like the hero he is. And with only two of those left, I'm feeling much, much better. I've managed to exhaust basically all of my MP. There is a blue dragon remaining, though, which is basically the same monster type. I feel like they're maybe a little bit easier to hit, but I don't know that that's true. Their evade stat, for all I know, could actually be the same. quite a bit of MP left on uh, Henri and Tao. So there is that. I think what I do... You know what? I'm gonna wait. Because I have time now to get a white ring cast off. And I definitely want to do that before continuing, I think. Although, Gore could probably just kill one of these. Yeah, that's probably fine to do. Let's just drop it. And he is level 20. He's level 20 a reasonable bit away from the final battle. So, that's pretty sweet. I feel like this is too good not to do, but also I feel like I'm going to lose Tau if I do that. It's really tempting, though, but I want to save my spellcasters for the final two Chimeras. Ugh. Yeah, let's just wait. Hanzo can get in there, though. I think he can probably drop this horseman. Can you one-shot it, Hanzo? Let's find out. Yes! Oh, just out of range, huh? But this does give me a chance to white ring it. Yeah, that'll work. Although, I hope that I didn't just put myself in a stupid spot where both skeletons can hit me. That would be bad. All 
right, white ring is still up. Yeah, so this is that machine gun attack I was talking about. And that hurts quite a bit, and if the other one gets its turn right now, uh, I might have just lost this fight. Oh, thank God. But the Chimeras are coming. So we have that to worry about. I've got to run for it. Okay, that one's down. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> hey, Hanzo survives. That is good. All right, Henri cannot do anything useful. Yeah, this, the, these three coming after me here is a huge problem. Yeah, we are going to strategically retreat here. We are going to do our best to not have to restart this fight. Okay, so let's run Luke over here. Now it's Gort's Atlas, Atlas that is cracked. I am pretty sure. <laughs> I said it out loud. I'm doing it. Okay. Yeah, let's get guns over here. Although then he can't hit all three. Okay. Yep. Yep, let's do it. Halberd, Gunces Halberd is down. I'm really nervous about my spellcasters over here, but I don't think there's much I can do about it. I don't necessarily want this jet to die because the skeleton could conceivably get to a square next to me, so actually... Yeah, let's make sure I'm healed up so I don't just get killed. I think that's the highest priority. But I am... I am definitely sweating this right now. Alright, to that end, now I don't think the skeleton would be able to jump in and just kill me. And I would like to kill as many enemies as possible. Oh, come on! Okay, so Gort's Atlas is down, but his Heat Axe is still up. Honestly, I should probably just start writing it down. That might be easier. That can get a direct hit on me, but I'm really glad I used that healing seed when I did. And I don't think anything else can reach me. Oh, 
Oh man. God, and there's another one too. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I guess I just try to hit what I can. There's no time to heal. Nice. Frankly, right now, any kill I'm pretty happy with. Yeah, I don't have time to white ring because I just have to run as far away as I possibly can. Okay. Send him at Gort. <laughs> it critted for one, dude. Awesome. That's just awesome. Please don't do your breath attack. You know what? Why wouldn't you? Frankly, it's really lucky that uh, they don't just do that every turn because it's so devastating. Let's see how much damage this is. Yep, 17 to guns. Okay. I don't have any way of hitting two things. Yep, so we'll just hit it with a freeze three. I already missed Musashi. Evil Ring, though, may be able to hit both of these. Yeah, let's do that. I'm, like, trying to remember, is it going to break? I don't think so. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, it's still up. That is good. So what are my options here? Yeah, I think I just attack this one. Five attack, five defense for that level up. Amazing. All right, so we got to try to deal with this one, I think. Luke's Atlas is still good to go. Yep. So, is there anyone I can use a healing seed on? I suppose I could just use it on me. But I think I'm better served by just attacking. Despite the fact that it's gonna miss. Yep. Aleph has no MP left, so she's kind of useless. Um, and none of these enemies have MP, right? I don't know. Let's try it anyway. I got nothing better to do. <laughs> it made a strange sound and nothing happened. I mean, maybe I can take this thing out. I'll give it a try. Nice, okay. Yep, I'm just gonna keep casting. This means we won't have very much MP at all for the boss. Six more MP is nice, but... 
we're just gonna have to deal with it, I think. Okay. So, Gort's Atlas is down, but he can probably just hit this thing and kill it. Let's just do that. Maybe this will do it. I really hope so. Yes! Okay, I'm starting to feel... I'm starting to feel better. When you're looking at three of those things bearing down on you, you're just like, oh god, what's gonna happen? Sure. Balif dies, that's fine with me. The only way I could possibly absorb MP is by getting right next to, uh... Colossus, and believe me, that would not end well. I don't remember if Gunz's Halberd is still up, so I'm starting to I'm starting to lose the thread. So I think I'm just gonna attack and block my spellcasters. And it even landed. That is fantastic. Now we only have three spellcasting boss monsters to deal with. <laughs> but let's get our healing seeds down on our way. I wish Hanzo was one square closer, but he needs it the most. And the white ring is still up. Okay, that's good. That will make getting properly healed up a lot less of a chore. Cast left, so we're actually doing pretty okay. I'm gonna wait here um, because I want this next white ring to hit kind of everybody. Okay, do I need healing? No. So this one looks good. That's a solid heal. Now, what I'm hoping to do is lure this one down without aggroing this one. That is what I would like. So we're gonna take it one square at a time. character model. He's like a machine with a brain sticking out of it. Colossus is pretty horrifying. But we gotta hit him and we gotta hit him hard. Yep, and there you can see, once you get past 20, 
Uh, your level ups stop really doing stuff for the most part. Uh, let's try our Dispel. It worked last time. Wow, it worked again. Okay, that spell is actually pretty good. All right. Okichi can go at range. I was really hoping for a double attack. It would have been exact seize. Luke should be able to drop him. Four and three, four attack, three defense. I love it. And five more hit points. All right, we're kind of doing it. So actually, I need to start going this way. Because we want to take out the other one rather than just going to the top one. So that we can get that sweet, sweet XP. Because uh, we are running out of fights. There are not very many left at all. But Kokichi, on the other hand, needs to go right here. And right there, we are going to discover a Kakuchan, who is going to be another character portrait from the dev team. There he is right there. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's one too many for Joker to hold, but that is the final secret item in the game, save for something called the Forbidden Box, which is not actually anywhere in the game. The only way you can get it is through ROM hacking, which we're not really gonna do. Mostly because I don't know how. I'm certain I could figure it out. I'm sure you can just Google that and find out how to do it. Um, but it is an item from the very first Shining Force. So it's a callback to that, and in the very first Shining Force, it's an item that kind of does like a random thing. People say in this game, the Forbidden Box levels your team, except for a few characters that it doesn't affect. Frankly, I have no idea, and I've never seen it. Um, but I did look up what the pixel art on it looks like. This is not what I wanted. Okay. But the, uh, the asset, you could call it, definitely is the same item as the one from the original Shining Force. The problem with putting Lyle there is that he's going to get a spell dropped on him and die. So I'm hoping that by going here, only one person gets hit, gets hit with the spell. Yeah, let's just stay non-adjacent. And I'm fairly certain I can survive a Blaze 3. Yeah, you know what? I'm not scared. But this terrain over here is not ideal for dealing with this guy. He will be very hard to reach. Okay, he came close. I love that.
Yeah, just 13 is totally manageable. And now we can hit him hard. I'm just wondering if anyone else will want to get close, but I think this will be fine. And he's only got 22 hit points left, so... Yep, let's keep the pressure up. Luke can't quite reach, so let's keep him spread out. I hope this does it. I'm really praying it does, to be honest. Come on, Lyle. Yes! Alright, three more attack for Lyle is fantastic. That is just what I needed. We're gonna bunch up. Uh, Pell can get going. And try to get another white ring heal before we tackle this final one. Looks good to me. Okay, I really wish that gave me XP, but I am not a healer. I'm just a guy with a white ring. And I could maybe go a little crazier with making sure I'm healed up, but honestly, I think we're gonna be just fine. The little bit of extra attack Lyle just got is really gonna help as well, so. I feel good to go. You know, yeah, there's there's no real way to... I was thinking to myself just now, maybe I should have gone this way first because this way is such a bottleneck. But there's no real good way of doing it. If you want to kill all three colossi, you're going to end up spending some time doing that. But it felt pretty worth it to me. I love Hanzo so much. The way he looks from the side, he totally looks like Ryu from Ninja Gaiden. Which, in my opinion, is exactly how a ninja should look. ready to confront the final Colossus head. Oh, Kokichi's gotta go around, huh? Okay. Well, let's do that. I would have felt like an idiot if I was like, alright, go Kokichi, and he can't get through the stupid wall. <laughs> Just make sure we're spread out. Wow, okay. Ooh, okay. With, with any luck, that will be the only spell it gets off.
Ah, uh, the curse killed Gunks again. That curse <laughs> has taken him out a bunch of times now. It's kind of amazing. Yep, just keep hitting it. Keep plugging away at this weird brain machine. Oh, do it, Luke. Yes. All right. And Colossus says, fools, Dark Dragon will come to destroy you. Nova says, you've destroyed Colossus, but where is Dark Soul? Use the staircase to Rufinus. Dark Soul must be up there. And I will do that, but we've got to get back to town to revive our fallen party members. So, you know what? Let's just go do it right now. Because we are not doing a permadeath playthrough. We are not doing any... Make this game lots more challenging things. We are just going to do a regular playthrough. So, we're going to revive everyone and head into battle at full strength. Like the cheaters we are. <laughs> so, let's go talk to the priest. Yeah, we lost three there. These these fights are no joke. If you've not grinded at all, it's definitely challenging and you definitely need to use every single tool at your disposal. Let's get all our stuff repaired. Okay. Yeah, we actually have quite a bit to repair this time. Remember when we tried to use the demon staff and it just made a weird noise? <laughs> And I want to give away Kakuchan. And you know what? Xylo can hold him. Miss you, Xylo. We'll grab some healing seeds. Because we used a whole bunch that fight. And we're going to need him for this next one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load everyone up. I usually leave a space or two open. Just out of habit. Because I don't like it when I accidentally kill a monster and then I can't pick up the thing they drop. You know, your heat axes, your, your demon rods, things like that. Atlas, Doomblade. There's a lot of them. And... I'm not always 100% certain where, where they are. Sometimes I forget to look. So out of habit, I usually leave an inventory slot open just to make sure that doesn't happen. Or if the person, it just happens to be their turn. I don't like it if I go over to a treasure box and they're like, but your inventory's full. And I'm like, well, I hate that. But we're not really going to be finding anything else. for the rest of the game. Pretty much from here on out, we're just going to be fighting. Now let's get back 
into the castle. So we are just straight up ready to go. I know Dark Soul was right up the stairs and I've been itching to confront him, but we just had a couple of errands to run first. <laughs> He's not going anywhere, to be honest. He's got one thing on his mind, and that's a Dark Dragon. So he's going to be right where we left him. And we are going to head in there and confront him, but that's going to have to wait until next time, because I'm all out of time for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.